Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean 2. I'm your host, Finchin. When we last left off, we got the Holy Sword Farwell from level 12. I'm out I'm outside the sealed coffin on floor 9 and Oh, that's unusual. I could have sworn that coffin was uh closed and sealed, not open. The Holy Sword Farwell. It's glowing. I have all my characters equipped with uh, tri-emblems. <laughs> Regret you not having awakened me. On God! Now do not underestimate this guy. He can kill you. And his uh, dream shades do not help either. Because they can cast dream peace like all dream shades. Oh crap, he can st stone you? And paralyze you? Oh crap, I was not prepared for that. This is could be bad. He has really strong spells. He has uh, dream pieces to make him a pain in the arse to fight. Hmm. And unfortunately, I need to get Opera healed. Like, right now. Because she has my healing stuff. To cure paralysis first. Let's see if we can't get rid of this guy. All right, Lunar Light. I'm cool with that. Let's get a Cure Stone going, and then we'll resurrect. We got two of the Dream Shades down. Just one more, and then this guy should be a uh, non-issue. All right. Okay. Alright, we got this under control now. We got this under control. Everyone's back alive. Oh, man. The Farwell is a lot stronger than I was giving it credit for. <laughs> and I will... And I knew I'd be using it for at least the super boss fights, but I might be using it for some more random encounters, too, because it's just really useful. Okay. Clawed with stone. That's, again... Not really a huge issue. We got the items necessary to take care of that. And let's just uh, fight from a distance with Alpha on one. Cure his stone status ailment. Should not be a huge issue. Just you know, keep, just keep attacking. Keep him off guard. Keep him off balance. Have Chizato use tear gas. Again, we kind of just want to stay out of range of him because he can stone and paralyze you. I did not realize he could do that. <laughs> Pardon me. But, you know, that's really the biggest threat he can do, and, you know, like I've said, we have, uh, or like, yeah, like I said, I have all the items necessary to cure these status ailments, even during battle. Opera, it'd be nice if you could cure us, please, and thank you. Thank you. And one more for good measure. Need to build up points for it somehow. Yeah. Ha ha. Blocked it. We can block the skill that causes status ailments. Mernie. Too bad we can't actually, like, stun him out of anything. Operate, use Alpha on one. This way, when he tries doing his little teleport tricks, we won't, uh,. He won't, uh... He can still get him. Ha <laughs> ha. As far as we can still hit him. Oh, man. Lunar Light. This, uh, boss fight is a lot harder than I was expecting. He does have a spell called Dark Flare, or something like along those lines. Uh, yeah. Uh, my first fight with this guy uh, ended a lot quicker than I thought it would. Ha <laughs> ha, you'll... 
You'll see at the end of the video. I made sure to save it, because that... Ah, uh, wow. Just because he's a level 9 boss doesn't mean he has level 9 stats. He can actually kill you if you're a little unlucky or not careful. I mean, sure, the dream shades are really what kind of caused it, but... I mean, I was, really, I was expecting Dream Chase to be a minor annoyance in this fight, not a, uh, not what led to my ultimate demise. Because if you keep attacking him, he can't charge up his spells, because unlike Selene, he does not have a motor mouth. Claws out of SP. Ah. Uh, it's not cool. Chizado's almost out. Opera's getting there. Not SP, MP. Why do I keep calling it SP? I haven't played a game that had SP in a while. Oh. There we go. And he's down. Magical drops. Yeah. Alright. Why is Sorcerer dead? You are worthy opponent. You have vanquished me. What is your wish? Possessions? Fame? Power? The place of the gods is not far, but it is evil. And for defeating him, we get the Levantine Sword! It rivals with the Holy Sword Farwell as one of the most powerful swords in the game. Yeah, it has an obscene attack power. Look at that. And it offers really good stats. It's it's the counterpart to this. I mean, yeah. They're both wonderful. And they put the Eternal Sphere to shame. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Levantine Sword. It's powerful, and I think even Ashton can equip it. So, yeah. That's definitely Ashton's ultimate weapon right there. <sighs> okay. But now that we have that... Uh, let's go down to floor 10 and just show off how abusive... Or not abusive, but just show off the power of the mighty triumblums. Because I feel confident... I feel c so confident in my ability to survive floor 10 now. with the, Thanks to those triumblums and the little run I had with Claude and Opera. That I am actually going to go after the items that I really care about on that floor. That's right, I'm going to go through a couple of poison rooms. Haha! <laughs> I can at least show them off. I mean, why not? Ah, uh, man. Okay. So, floor 10, or one of the control opera still, just because, I mean, I... I still need my. I still might need to spam heals, but okay. So if I remember correctly, it's. Oh, what was the floor arrangement I needed? Okay, meals. Yeah, you know, we've seen these guys before. Not a huge threat. <laughs> Max damage. Nice. Go, Selene. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll periodically use Healing Star just so I can get some uh, proficiency in it. I want to max out his proficiency to 999 so that way I can be healing for about 5,000 health every single use. So, if I remember correctly, the way I want to go is this way. Yep. Okay. I think that was it. Heals again. Not really much of a threat. Haha, yes. Go Celine. Burn them. Burn them all. Nine nine nine. Beautiful. 
at this rate, I won't even need Meteor. Oh, I'll still get it, don't get me wrong. I want to at least show it off. But, I mean, yeah, it just... Oh, man, it's beautiful. Uh, nothing survives. Well, okay, that thing survived, but, I mean... It's just such a powerful, burning force. Wah, tear gas. Okay, so... Let's enter our first poison room, shall we? I'm losing HP slowly. I want this item. Valkyrie boots! Female equivalent of bunny shoes. Give those to the girl who I need to survive most. Opera. Uh... We're doing fine on HP, just use a healing star as soon as we get in. The battle, it is! A battle against more meals. Ah, uh, man. I want to control someone other than Opera, please. She's my least favorite to control combat-wise. I mean, face it, Alpha on one and Healing Star, that's all I do with her. And none of those are really impressive to watch. I prefer watching Rising Dragon or Mirror Slice or Tear Gas. I feel like I want to do something, get up there, and attack the enemy. Rising Dragon. Special attack. Rising Dragon. Explosions! Boring fight is boring. Do da, do da. Boring fight is so boring. On the do da day. I'm gonna punch a meal. 128 in the face. He's going to feel the effect of a Rising Dragon. Okay, so we got my Valkyrie boots. Cool. Now we need to go in here for... Selene has learned the spell Meteor Swarm! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Most... Her most powerful spell. Okay. Selene, work your magic. The longest spell animation, but no, oh man. I'll show it off this once, and then I'll uh, probably turn it off because it is a long spell animation. In fact, there's one boss in here, one boss that I've killed uh, on my other file. One of the super bosses has 3.3 million HP. 3.3 million HP. And that was the only spell Celine would use. That was a really long, drawn-out fight. And she's going to use it again, isn't she? No, oh, she's going to use her reflection. All right. All right. Oh, I didn't get a chance to use my healing star. Oh well. I mean, I did, but. And here we have another million staff. That's eh, not really as useful. We can win. Celine, work your magic. I said work your magic, Celine. Thank you. I guess you didn't get a motor mouth that time. Uh, Duke. Now, one neat thing is, uh, depending upon whether you're casting this spell from Need or uh, Expel, will decide. Well, it'll actually show what planet you're on in this animation. Right now we're on Expel, so that's why it's showing the planet. If we were on Energy Need, it would be showing, well, Energy Need. So that's quite nice. A really nice attention to detail. I, I really, the developers, you know, did an awesome job, you know, with that. I thought that was really neat. Alright, Celine's MP. <laughs> Finally got below 200, but then it shot right back up to 304. And it's another Meteor Swarm! Yeah, I'm going to turn that off now. I mean, it's sure, it's guaranteed 9999 nine, 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 
Mm, pardon me. It's guaranteed max damage, but uh, it's a super long animation, and my other spells are almost as powerful, if not just as powerful, without the super long animation. In fact... Okay, it's not guaranteed, but it's near max damage. Uh, Meteor Swarm. Uh, okay, I can't disable it mid-battle. Alright, I have to do so afterwards. Yeah. Claude, destroy them. Destroy them all. Selene, stop using meteors. Okay, I am going to control Selene. This meteor storm is getting annoying. I'm going to keep using Lunar Light. Or maybe some explodes. Now get your fill of the meteor swarms now, viewers, because yeah, last time you're going to see it. Like I said, it is a really powerful spell, but just the attack animation is so long. Lunar Light. Where are you? Yeah. Okay, so that was like half the damage. Well, then let's try and explode. Oh, well, they knocked me out of it. Oh, well. Alright. First order of business, let's kill Meteor Swarm. Uh, specialty, Selene. Spell setting. Meteor Swarm is gone. Yep, we'll never see it again unless I tell her to use it. And... This is useless to us. That's, uh... Ashton's Tri-Ace ability. Ah, we're on 411. Let's just keep going down while we're at it. I feel like, uh... I don't know. I didn't get to really show off, like, how powerful we are with the tri Emblems against life layers, but... Oh, hey, I, I, you know, went in and with full confidence knowing I can kill them with my Triumblem, so yeah. Gave me the confidence I needed to get the Valkyrie boots and the uh, the other thing. The Meteor Swarm <laughs> that I'll never use. It's been shown off now, so that's all that matters. Explosions! You no, know, but it could be worse. You know, the, it could be the spell animation for Supernova. That one took forever. Yeah, not, not a fan of this. Oh, I, okay. It was really cool the first time I saw Supernova, but you know, when oh, in Final Fantasy VII, I guess I should explain or clarify. It's the Supernova spell from Final Fantasy VII. Really cool the first time you see it really annoying after you've seen it a lot. <laughs> it's just so long. Uh. Uh, no longer need to control Opera. Let's get some blackberries going. Combat. Formation. Shizado. And let's Let's get the uh, Eternal Sphere back on Claude, uh, for in case I come across more of those owl beasts. Hey, I'm psychic. And Sabine's gonna be the uh, MVP for this one. <laughs> yeah, she can do the most damage to it. Like my tear gas? Nothing. Rising Dragon, special attack. Looks like he's uh, trying to guard against it. Ha! Fat luck, pal. Can't guard against the explosion. Doosh! Okay, I'm kind of getting tired of exploding now, too. Ah, oh, man. Guess I can't always get what I want, but still. Not too upset. Uh, let's control Claude, because the reason why I put the, uh, 
can come through armor so I can sunlock him with the regular attacks. There we go. Doosh, doosh, burn and flames. Oh yeah, she managed to... Oh, I never noticed that before. After this release punch, she only has like orbs where his fists used to be. That's cool. Send Selene's happy to spam explode. You know what? I'm happy to let her spam explode because the attack animation, like I said, is shorter than Meteor Swarm. Ah. I still think my favorite animation of hers is probably Lunar Light or Southern Cross. Doosh. Oh, shit. Ooh, crap. Oh, Chisato, no, why? Why did you have to die, Chisato? Can't control, okay, I can't control Selene. Selene, please survive. First, the moment I take my control off of Claude. Oh, great, now he's in his final form. Selene, use Explode, please. Yeah. You don't intimidate me, Torso Man! Come on, he needs to use his little laser. We need to... There we go. Now he's damaged. Explode! I will tap with the here and then I will keep him. Bless! Thank you, Celine. I appreciate it. Explode! Come on, finish him off. Um, uh, wait, why am I going bad voice? It's not even a topical thing anymore. <laughs> ah, JFK impersonations are not funny. That voice I barely even know much about the man, so much to my shame. I, the main reason why I know of him is because of the incident, the assassination, and the comedy station. <laughs> Oddly enough. I guess this was uh, before the event took place. There's this, uh, I don't know if it's from a show or if it's a radio play or what's going on, but listening to a comedy station at work, this is actually uh, something called The First Family, just random skits that involve this guy talking like JFK, and it can be humorous at times. I think, I think there might have been radio plays. Uh, there might have been skits. Who knows? Or live action skits. Uh. Blueberries. And that fight took forever. Ugh. Hate. I think that took even longer with Celine. Like, that's. I, I feel that's how it. what it did. Okay, but I'm perfectly okay with Celine using in all of her spell spamming in this fight, because, yeah. I don't want to be munchied. Reflection. Dragon. There's only the one. Or no, maybe there's two. I was about to say there's only one, but I saw what looked like Opera hitting something. Or maybe that something died. That was just the last little hit I saw. Yeah. Dead. Boosh. Oh my, what shall I do? Now, now that we have four people, these floors aren't threatening anymore. I will win. I will tear gas. And I don't think the explosion will hit them if they're, hit them if they're faded. So that might be a wasted spell. Oh no, it hits me if they are out of phased out. That's cool. And I need to use tear gas because these guys uh, disposition to uh, fading out of existence. One down. Uh, again, he used a uh, attack up on a dead ally. Ah, uh, that's funny when they do that. Didn't realize that you could. Uh, didn't realize that could be done. Okay, floor 12. We need a couple of items on here. Do. Da, come on. Go over to the right and we will get. something. This is bad. Here's the enemy. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, who needs Meteor Swarm when you have Explode? That's my question to you, viewers. Well, I guess you do kind of need it if the enemy is uh, not weak to fire, but still. A lot of these enemies seem to be weak to fire. Get that or Explode is just that dang strong. Tear gas. Oh. Man. Just breezing through these fights. Over here we have. Da -da -da. Battle suit. Decent. It's a really powerful armor. Oh, crap. None of that out there. Uh, you know what? No, I won't run. If I run, he'll kill me. Let's, uh. Let's see Southern Cross. Thank you. Don't let him get a release punch off. If he gets a re re if he gets a re release punch off, anything going to final form, this fight takes even longer. Ah. Now, if I really wanted to, I could bring uh, Leon and Celine down here, and I could uh, be wreaking havoc with their. Actually, I would try that out just once to see what it looks like. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll come down here once and just see what Goblin Storm looks like. It's a combination of the, uh, the spells Thunderstorm and Goblin Slayer. It is uh, pretty darn obscene from everything I'm hearing. It's the, one of these few attacks that, thanks to the way it's set up, can actually break the nine, uh, the only spell, I should say, that can break the max damage limit. Uh, because it has multiple hits. Other spells, you know, like our uh, little Explode and Meteor Swarm, they only deal 9999 max, period, and they can't deal any more damage. If you've powered up Leon and Selene enough, you can have the Goblin Storm doing 999 damage per hit, and it does a lot of hits. Thank you. Yeah, we'll just uh, keep him occupied while you explode his face. I wish there was a way you could just turn off the attack animation like in the sky where you, know, you just see the damage happen from the spell. You don't you know, go into the long drawn out cutscene or anything. That would be nice. But sadly, no such option exists in this game. This is not the sky. This is Star Ocean. Nerd. Come on. Okay, he's going to release punch. Yeah, okay. Now he's going to go into a final form here if we don't kill him soon enough. And, oh, wait, he's just about to die. He's probably dead from that release punch. Yeah, I've kind of just glazed over this fight. Do -do 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 yeah, there's the final form. Uh, let's see if we can get off the uh, resurrection before the healing star takes effect. Nope. Ah, oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Knock the headset off. Nerd. Man, this fight's long and boring. Ah, oh, dang it. I guess I have to Exterminate! Exterminate! There we go. And he's dead. But the fight goes on so long that you barely get anything back. Blueberries. I might need to take another trip to the store, don't I? And I will do so after I get treasure from here. Bunny shoes! Totally worthless now. now even if I hadn't have abused the uh, the bunny races to get... Oh, not really abused. But even if I hadn't you know, won my bunny shoes at the bunny races, I uh, would already have at least the Valiant Boots and two or three other pairs. So having bunny shoes on this floor is just kind of pointless. Douche! There you go, death to the okay, weird God. demon I thing. I don't even know what it's called. Okay. Come on. Come on. Dang it! 
I'm set to run from enemies. Why am I getting in so many random encounters? Okay, you know what? Just screw it. Don't have time for this. Come on, Chizato. Run. Run. There we go. Screw it. Don't have time for this. There we go. Took a while, but we got away. Ugh. Dang it. As long as it's not another owl beast, I'll be... What did I just say? I don't want to fight you. You're long... Drawn out fight. Not interested. Even I have my limits, viewers. If I'm getting bored of it, you guys are really bored of it. Okay, another battle suit and a Valkyrie guard. Let's check out that battle suit, shall we? Very nice. Only 500 defense and 50 guts, but. You know. Like, so it's raw defense is really nice. Uh, but you have less avoid, less magical. Mm, this one's kind of tough. I think I'll stick with the, uh, what I got. And the Valkyrie Guard, it's the most powerful shield in the game. It's the equivalent of the male's Valiant Guard. Oi. Most powerful female shield in the game. There you go, I should have elaborated. Alright, so. Just need to get all of this floor and we'll be done. Or, well, not. Well, we won't be done, but, uh. We'll, we'll be, uh, done with this video. As soon as I get to the stairs on the next floor. Ow! Crap, this is bad. Green piece is never good. Is that us? Okay, yeah, that was Celine. Okay, thank goodness. Don't even really know what's what I'm fighting. I just know I have dream pieces here. I kind of just like zoned out, just imagining what the next floor looked like. Ha! Huh. Okay, we just have dream pieces or dream shades and a meal. One dream piece down. Okay, and a wizard. We have a wizard. Not nearly as deadly as the Y Sorcerer, but eh, it's still kind of a, something you want to keep an eye out. Keep an eye on. And this is how the monster cease to exist. Come on, just let me get through this area, please. Why? Okay. Back attack, not really much of a threat. Boosh! Haha! <laughs> uh, well, now that I'm not in the obvious fight, I don't mind the explosions as much. But yeah, that Albies fight, it just takes forever. And I have videos. And I'd be fine if it were just... <sighs> mm. Pardon me. Yeah, that's, that's how bored I am with the Albies fight. I just mention and I start yawning. What is this? The Phoenix is back? I live eternal. Nature rules me not. You have overcome, you have overcome mortals. Think you to overcome gods? If mortals worthy of touching gods you be, tis I who shall see. Oh, no. Yep, so we have to fight the phoenix again. There, that's the reason why I did all this on screen. Well, yeah. Yeah, well, because I, you know, I, not because I wanted to show you getting the items or anything. Haha, <laughs> nope. I did this all on screen because I knew I'd have to fight the phoenix again. I remembered it. No, I didn't, actually. I forgot all about this. But it makes sense, you know, he is a phoenix. But, you know, just like uh, the last time, just spam your long-range attacks. He's not even any harder than he was last time. He's the exact same monster, exact same stats. It's just, well, now you have four people. 
So, yeah, this fight is not threatening at all. Southern Cross, murder him! Murder him with Cross from the south! Yep, and with him in the air like that, I can still spam my, uh... Oh, crap. I'm out of SP, or MP. Why did I equip the Psychic Gun? Oh, because I was wanting to try it out over the Weird, Fla weird Slayer. Oh, for boss fights like this, uh, I'd probably take the Weird weird Slayer. Oh. The HP increase is worth the loss in, like, the hit stat, I believe. Man, plus, you just tear through MP really quickly in bosses where you just spam attacks. And she has no way to gain it back mid-battle other than items. There we go. But, you know, like I said, you know, he's still weak. Same boss as last time, so not an issue. Hmm. I live eternal without demise. Whenever you desire to see me, you may come. I shall not flee nor hide. Farewell. And with that, something's written on this stone tablet. Hmm. Light and darkness, sacred and evil. The way to the holy alcove of time will open when the opposites meet. Well, I have both swords on me. This is bad. Here's the enemy. Uh, uh -oh. escape. I'm tired of this fight. Get real tired of your crap game. Man, she's auto is getting taking a beating. Run. Thank you. There we go. Just examine the door. If you have both of them in inventory. Holy Sword Farewell, Farewell, and Levantine Sword. They're glowing. Boosh! Door open. Ha ha! Oh, yeah, we used it on the wrong person. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, blueberries. Or. Yeah. We'll use a blueberry there. Use blackberries to restore everything else. Alright, let's get you back on the Weird Slayer. Uh, I just like that better. Okay. That taken care of. But what lies on 413? Pardon me. Find out next time on Let's Play Star Ocean 2. Thank you for watching, everyone. I shall see you all tomorrow. Laters. Boss time against... The Wise Sorcerer and Dream Shades. Again, the most dangerous part of this battle is the Dream Shades. Oh, don't get me wrong, the Wise Sorcerer is also something to be reckoned with, but... I mean, considering the fact that most of my people have at least... What just happened?